What's happening YouTube? Chevelle 74 US here and today I'm going to review or take a look at the uh, the new Pittsburgh six and a half inch wire stripper. Uh, I don't know if you, if you guys maybe haven't used this type of strip, stripper before. Uh, I've gotten to use a set of the Matco ones which I think are about like 45 bucks and I really like them. Um, and uh, I was actually going to go get a pair, but then when I was at the Harbor Freight Store today picking up some other items, I happened to see this on the shelf for, I think it was about six bucks. So I'm like, well, for six dollars, I'll give it a try. So uh, I got some, some different type of wire here, and let's see, uh, let's see how these work. So, so far, first impressions, these feel good in the hand. It's got, you know, the red portion is, uh, is stamped steel, and the black portion is a hard black plastic. It feels nice. Um, I'm used to using, for like stranded wire, I've been using these Kleins. And uh, they work really well. It's just there's a little bit more effort into using them in 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 the way that you have to you know line up the wire perfectly. You have to get it in the right gauge slot in order for it to strip it properly. So it's kind of it's a little bit more work, but it it gets the job right. Otherwise, I you know, for heavier gauge wire, I'll use a set of lineman's pliers or, or solid core wire lineman's pliers, or I'll use, you know, traditional set of wire strippers, which I'm not really too crazy about. So really these have been my go-to, but I'm hoping that these work out because, you know, the idea with these is you just kind of shove the wire in there. You know, it works, uh, it works anywhere from a uh, 10 gauge all the way up to 22 gauge so for most applications you can just kind of shove the wire in there and and you're done so let's see I've got some wire here so let's see how it strips this smaller gauge wire not too bad Not too bad. Let's try different types of insulation. So I got this wire, which is like a flexible uh, silicone insulation. Let's give that a little strip. Nice. This is a, I believe this is 16 gauge wire. So that's good. Here's another wire where the uh, insulation is kind of a more rigid insulation. Bam. Nice. Nice. I like that. I'm liking this already. Here we have a heavier gauge wire. Probably the heaviest gauge in the lot. Maybe it's 14 gauge. But this is harder stuff. Well, it might be actually 12 gauge. Let's see. Ooh, no. That's a no-go. That's a no-go. I didn't like that. Let's see if it did anything to the... Uh... Hmm. Yeah. We're not going to try that again, are we? Let's see... Let's see how the clines do. Yeah, no problem. So, these are good for, uh, you know, smaller gauge wires or, I, I think it'll handle th thicker gauge wire, but this insulation's real tough, man. 
like even with this one I had to put a little bit more effort into it but uh you know for for general I mean that's that's not bad boom you know so for for, for most uh you know automotive grade situations I think this is awesome so I, I'll call this a winner you know it's not going to do anything everything it's not the end all be all I'd be surprised if even the uh, the the Matco version will strip this 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 wire I mean this stuff is like really this is THHN this is like residential use stuff so um, I'd be surprised if the uh, if the Matco is going to do this but that's not you know, that's not what this tool's meant for, so you can't really take too many points away from it. So I'm real happy with this one. I think this is kind of, for most instances, is going to replace this tool because, you know, if you've never seen this particular tool in action, well, you've seen it now with the heavier gauge, but, you know, you see you got to, like, kind of line it up in the right spot and got to make sure it's in the right hole and then so this does a, I mean this will strip most most things this is this is this it won't it won't fail on stripping most things it's just a little bit more more work but if you're doing like some quick wiring jobs and you just want to you know real quick without having to just kind of you know stick the wire in there and strip this will work out so I recommend this I think this is a winner for Harbor Freight for six dollars all right guys thanks again for watching uh, check out my other videos I do you know tool reviews I'm just a regular dude I'm not like uh, sponsored obviously <laughs> uh, I, I buy tools that I need um, and maybe needs a stretch because uh, I, I do hobby work mostly but um, I like tools. I like I like collecting tools. I like uh, you know fixing my own things. I work on old cars, four wheelers. Uh, I do a little bit of metal work, carpentry work. You know, you name it. Um, but I do I do love collecting tools. So uh, if you want to check out my other videos? I just uploaded a uh, a video. Uh, with an, uh, just basically going over everything I got in this toolbox um, and I'll probably make other videos about some of my other some of my other pieces of equipment and I had a request for a video on this workbench so I'm gonna work on that and uh, this is my newest customization I've got a hitch receiver on here and uh, if you subscribe, I'll make a video on why I have a hitch receiver on my workbench, So, uh, which is actually a really handy uh, addition. So, alright guys, uh, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.